Yes, hello students. Welcome to our fourth lesson of preparatory to going fishing. So our lesson for today is going fishing. Who can tell me what does it mean here, going fishing? Yes, very good. Going fishing. Yes, very good. So now we will move to the homeworks. So the first homework we have from Raida, and the second homework we have from Serene, and we have Fatima. She will present it to us. Okay. Yes, Raida, can you start reading your homework for us? Okay. Wait a minute. No problem. Yes, we will wait. Wait, yes. Warning to parents. Number one, never let your children to cross the road. Number two, never let your children to throw gray beige on the, in the road. Number three, always keep children, don't open the doors and windows of the car. Always be careful not to touch children electric wire. Yes, very good, electrical wires. Very good, thank you very much, Raida. So what about you, Serene? So this is the homework by Serene. Yes. Give your child healthy breakfast for school. Why? Because fast food is not good for children. Always feed your child. Why? Because without food, they can be sick or die. Teach your child how to swim. Why? Because it can save him. Don't allow your child to play outside alone. Why? Because he may hurt himself or kidnapped. Don't hit your child. Why? Because they will learn more with love. Don't let your child play with matches. Why? Right? Because he can burn himself. Yes, thank you very much, Serene. Thank you very much. So now what about you, Aisha? Hello? Hello. Yes, Aisha. Okay. Yes. Okay. I can't show if you can't. Yes, yes, we can see it. Yes, very good. Yes, we can see it. Don't let accidents happen. Don't swim in the sea alone because you will drown. Don't touch anything in the hospital so as not to get in trouble. Don't run in the schoolyard when the floor is wet. Don't spill tea without your parents. Don't spill hot tea without your parents. Yes, very good, Aisha. Yes, thank you. Yes, can you show it to us? Yes, I will make it bigger. Yes, very good. Yes, thank you very much, Aisha. Thank you very much. Yes, Fatima. I did the homework too. Ah, yes. Sorry for. For that, yes, you can start, Fatima. You are mute. Hello, Fatima. Hello. Uh, yes. This is my homework. Can you see it? Yes, I see it. Yes, very good. Okay. Yes, I see I'll it. I will read it now. Yes. Don't cross the street without your parents. Be carefully when you go on or down the stairs because maybe you slip. Hold the bike very well when you cycle. Don't go so far in the park only if you are with your parents. Yes, thank you very much, Fatima. Yes, keep it. Yes, thank you very much, Fatima. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, Raida, Sirin, Aisha, Fatima. So now we will start our lesson. So our lesson for today is lesson for going fishing. So we have about four sections. So now we will start from section one. Listen and read, listen and read. So now I want you to listen carefully. I will play it right now. I want you to listen carefully, okay? And follow the conversation that you will hear right now. And then you will have to read it, okay? Now I will start. Mazin has a shop near the sea in Tobruk. When people want to go fishing, they can buy or hire everything they need in his shop. 
Khalid and Ahmad are going fishing. They are in Mazin's shop. Hi, Mazin. We'd like to hire a boat. OK, but fishing is dangerous. Have you got everything? I think so. What will you do if the boat sinks? If the boat sinks, we'll swim. Yes, but you'll need these life jackets. Oh, yes. Thanks. What will you do if you get lost? If we get lost, we'll use a compass. Right. Here you are. One compass. Thanks. Now. What will you do if the motor stops? If the motor stops, we'll row. OK. So you'll need oars, won't you? Oh, yes. Right. One pair of oars. I think you'll be safe now. How much is that, Mazin? Let me see. Well... If you take me fishing, I'll give you everything free. Fantastic! Let's go! So now I'm going to repeat it, OK? I'm going to repeat it. Unit 7. OK. Track 41. Listen and read. Mazin has a shop near the sea in Tobruk. When people want to go fishing... They can buy or hire everything they need in his shop. Khalid and Ahmad are going fishing. They are in Mazin's shop. Hi, Mazin. We'd like to hire a boat. OK, but fishing is dangerous. Have you got everything? I think so. What will you do if the boat sinks? If the boat sinks, we'll swim. Yes, but you'll need these life jackets. Oh, yes. Thanks. What will you do if you get lost? If we get lost, we'll use a compass. Right. Here you are. One compass. Thanks. Now, what will you do if the motor stops? If the motor stops, we'll row. OK. So you'll need oars, won't you? Oh, yes. Right. One pair of oars. I think you'll be safe now. How much is that, Mazin? Let me see. Well, if you take me fishing, I'll give you everything free. Fantastic! Let's go! Yes, thank you so much for listening. So do you have any words that you don't know their meaning here? No. no yes, thank hello? You. Uh, what, what are oars? I say yes, Serene, these are oars. So he said that if the motor stops, so if the motor of the engine stops, so they will use this, okay? Do you know what are these? What is... What's compass? What's a compass? Uh, so just a minute, yes. Serene, did you understand what you mean by oars? So these yes, are oars. I know. You will, yes, you will use them yes. if the motor stops. So a compass, uh, Aisha and Fatima, al bosala Do you know it? So it will tell you where you are. So where's the east, the north, al bosala Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So yes. it gives you directions. Where's the east, where's the west? Back, the north, the yes, yes. Al-Bawsala. Yes, al yes, al yes, so do you have any words that you don't know their meaning here? No, Every, thank Is everything you. clear? Yes. Yes, so now yes. who's going to read? So I can't read. I can't. Yes, uh, we have Mazin, we have I, Ahmed. So we have Can Mazin. I be Mazin? Yes, uh, can you repeat it? I didn't hear you. Can I be Mazin? Serene. Okay, Serene will be Mazin. Yes, Serene will be Mazin. Can I ask you? So, just a minute. So, I need the first one to read all this first, okay? Can I? Okay, then. I can. Yes. 
So Raida, you will read this. Okay, then you have to stop. Okay, you will read all this. Then you will have to stop. Okay, then we have Mazen, Ahmed, uh, Mazen, Ahmed, and Khalid. Who's going to be Mazen? We said Sireen. Ahmed? I can't. Fatima. What about Mazen? Serene is I am. Uh, sorry, yes, uh, Khaled. I can Rubin. Rubin, okay, yes, Rubin will be Khaled. Yes, Rubin will be Khaled. Yes, can you start, Raida? Okay. Mazen has a shop near the sea in the uh, tropic. When people want to want to go fishing, they can buy our high. Everything they need to in his shop. Khaled and Ahmed are going fishing. They are in the Mazen shop. Yes. So I, I think uh, now Ahmed will talk. Ahmed or uh, Ahmed or Khaled. Because they will say, hi Mazen. Yes. I can't yes. Hi Mazen. We'd like to hire a boat. Okay, but fishing is dangerous. Have you got everything? Aisha. I think so. Oh, sorry, Rubin. Sorry, Rubin. Yes, Rubin. I think so. Yes, very good. Yes. Very what can you do if the boat sinks? The boat sinks. Well, I'll swim. Yes, but you'll need this these life jackets. Oh yes, thanks. What will you do if you get lost? Yes, Rubin. If we get lost, we will use a compass. Right, here you are, one compass. Yes, if we get lost, we will use a compass. Right, here you are, one compass. Thanks. Matt, the motor stops. Well, what I will... roll. Also... Now, what will you do if the motor stops? If the motor stops, well, I'll roll. Okay, so you'll need ours, won't you? Oh, yes. Right, one pair of oars. I think you'll be safe now. How much is that, Madison? Let me see. Well, if you take me fishing, I will give you everything free. Fantastic. Let's go. Yes, thank you, Rubin. Thank you, Rubin, Serene, and Fatima. Thank you very much. So did you understand all the conversation we have here? Yeah. Yes. 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 Very good. Now we will move to the next section. Need the, read the conversation aloud, then answer the question. So we, we read the conversation. So now we have to answer these questions. So who can tell me the answers of these questions, but just by one or two or three words? What do Khaled and Ahmed want to do at the shop? I can. Can I, Aisha? Okay. okay, so number one will be Aisha. Number two? Fatima. I can. Number two, mm -hmm. Fatima. Number three? Okay. Uh, I can answer uh, the question number three. Okay, so Raida will, will answer the question number three. So Serene, you will, you will do the next, okay? Okay. Okay, so number one. Yes, Aisha? Okay. What do Khalid and Ahmed want to do at the shop? They want to buy things yes, uh, to be safe in the sea, maybe. Yes, very good. Look carefully here. Yes, so they will hire a boat. So what do Khalid oh. and Ahmed want to do at they the shop? They want to so hire a boat. Yes, they can't buy it, so they will hire. So they will take it and give it back again. Okay, very good, Aisha. So what about number two? So you can read it, Fatima, then answer. Yes, can you read it first? What will the boys use if they get lost? They will use a compass. Very good, yes, they will use a compass. Very good. So what about the third one? How much do the boys pay Mazen? If they 
take yes. sorry, uh, take Ali. so it's for Ghida. Yes, uh, you will answer later on. Ali. Yes, Ghida. If they take him fishing, he yes. will give you give their everything free. Very good. So if he go with them, so so he will give them everything for free. So that means nothing. So how much do the boys pay him? They pay him nothing. So they didn't pay him money. Very good. Because I think he will go with them because they agree together at the end of the conversation. Because they say, let's go. Very good. So now here describing conditional situations. So we have zero condition, first, second, and third. So we will look how to use the conditional. What do we mean by conditional? When we use the F, look to the F here. Okay, if the boat sinks, we will swim. If we get lost, we will use the compass. So this is what we mean by first conditional. In the first part of the sentence, we will use the present simple tense. In the second part, we will use well. Okay, if the boat sinks, we will swim. If we get lost, we will use the compass. So this is what, what we mean by first conditional, is that we use F. The first part of the sentence is a present symbol. Look, here we have sinks, and here we have the verb get. So these are in the present symbol, and the second part we use it well. So this is what we mean by first conditional. Now we will move to the next section to look at the first conditional in more detail. So look here carefully. Who can read the C here? Yes, C. Serene, I yes, can. can you read it? I can't. Yes. It's the boat. No, here, the question. Now try to make the conditional sentences. Very good. So what we mean, so we have to finish these sentences we have here. The first sentence must be in the present symbol and the next sentence must have well. At the same, in the second sentence, we must use the present symbol and then we have to use the well. Okay, the verb well. Who can try with the first sentence? Yes, Serene, can you do it? If the boat sings, yes. we'll go and we'll if the boat fills up with water yes very good empty it out yes very good so if the boat fills up with water so if the the the, the boat has many water inside it so we have to empty it out so if we if we have to say such a sentence so we will use the word f in the first conditional, we must use the present symbol in the first part of the sentence. And in the second part, we have to use well in each sentence. So who can do number two? Yes, I need uh, to hear the names, please. Number two, who can try? I can. Yes, can you start, Serene? Yes, try. I can, Fatima. Okay, sorry, sorry Serene. Can so I... you said number one, Serene. Fatima, can you try with number two? If we lost. We yes. can use the compass. Ah, yes, sorry, sorry, Fatima. We said that in the first part, use the present. If we get lost, here is okay. But in the second okay. part, in the second part, don't use can. You have to use well. You must okay. use well. Okay, yes. If we, we get lost, we will use the compass. Very good. Yes, you can read it now. Yes, your sentence is correct, but we have another sentence, okay. Yes, can you read it? Hello, Fatima. Hello. Yes, can you read it now? So we have another sentence. Okay. If we don't know where we are, we will look at the compass. Very good. So how we can form the first conditional with F, how we can use it? So the first part is? If we. No, F present symbol. So F plus present symbol. And the second part, we must use well. 
Is that right? Yes. Yes, very good. So now I have many sentences in the first conditional. So I want you to read them, okay? Who's going to read them? I can. Okay, so we have- Can I, Aisha? Yes, we have uh, about 12 sentences. So Aisha and uh, who else? Me, Serene. Okay, Aisha, Serene, Fatima, who's going to read? Hello? Aisha, Sireen, Fatima. Okay, so we have 12. Yeah, so each one will say four. So Aisha will say the first four and Sireen will say the second four and Fatima will say the last four here. Okay, yes, Aisha, okay. can you start? Uh, should I begin from the first and... Uh... Yes, yes, one, two, three, four. Okay. Yes. If uh, sorry, I study sorry, for sorry, 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 Aisha. You will tell me where is the verb in the present symbol in the first sentence and well okay. also. Okay, yes. Okay. If I if I study for the exam, I will pass the test. Yes. Uh, pass. Pass is the verb. No, study no, is study, the verb. Study, yes, is the study verb. is the verb in the present symbol. And we have well, yes. Well. well, we have well in the second sentence. This is the first condition. Yes. Sorry, sorry, no sorry. Problem. Studies. No problem, yeah. Aisha. Yes, number two. If I have time, I will go shopping after school. Um, well, for the for, um, second sentence and have is the verb in the first sentence yes yes in the present symbol very good what about the second i will verb? i will drive to work drive right. is the verb ah uh, no it, not it, to drive it, well is the verb here yes well in the second part we have well plus a verb but with f we have rains in the present symbol is that right so this sentence is the first part comes first, and the, the one which has F comes the last one, okay? So here, well, and here we have the present symbol. So did you understand what I mean, Aisha? Yes. Yes, so the fourth one is for you, yes? Hello, Aisha? Yes. Oh, if it rains, I will bring my umbrella. Very good. Where's the in, verb in the present symbol? Oh, in, in, we have one verb, well. Yeah, rains, rains, rains first, rains. Rains, then well. Yes, very good. The first part contains the present symbol, rains, and the second rains. part, well. Yes, it's what about well. you, Serene? If I pass my exams, I will go to university. Pass is the first verb. Will is the second verb. Yes. So we have two sentences here. The first sentence with F. It must have a verb in the present symbol. Okay. And the second sentence must have the word well here. And it's a complete sentence. But well, we must have another verb that must be in the infinitive. Like here, we have pass, we have go, we have drive, we, go. we have bring, and we have for your sentence three is go. Yes, can you do the, the second one? If I win some money, I will buy a new car. Win and will buy. Yes, very good. If the weather is nice, I will go to the park. If yes. is if the weather is nice, is so, yes, very good. Is in the present symbol, very good. I will go. Will yes, go. will go. Yes, will go. Very good. Yes. What about the last one? I will go to the cinema if there is a good movie to watch. Yes. I will. Go. Yes. We'll go. If there is a good movie to watch, watch and is. Nah, is here. If there is. So is, is the verb here. Is here. 
if there is. Watch this is. is the verb, yes. This is the verb in the present symbol. And this is will go. Yes. Very good, Siri. Yes, thank you, Siri. So what about you, Fatima? If I stay up late, I will be tired in the morning. Stay. And will, and will be. be. Yes, very good. My teacher will be angry if I don't do my homework. Angry. Well. No, not angry here. Will be. Will. Yes, will, will be. Yes, will be. This uh, is the verb uh, with, with will. And where is the present symbol? Do. Don't do. Yes, very good. Don't. Don't do together. Yes, very good. What about the third one? My parents will be happy if I pass all my tests. Will be. Very good. Uh, yes, will be and pass, which is in the present symbol. So what about the last I one? I don't think Aisha hear you. So Aisha. Are you still here, Aisha? Sorry, Fatima. Fatima, I don't think she heard yes. you. Yes, okay, so I will do the last one. If I eat a lot of chocolate, I will feel sick. So here we have the first sentence with F, so we must have present symbol tense. We have eat, which is in the present symbol. And here we have well feel. This is the second part, which contains the word well. Okay, this is the first conditional. So did you understand what we mean by the first conditional? We have two sentences. What will, one, what, one will be with, a, with F. It must be in the present symbol. And the second, second part must, must be with the word well in the second part of the sentence or the opposite, like what we have in this sentence here and in your sentence here, Siri. Okay. Now we will move to the next section. So did you understand what we mean by this section? Yes. Yes, very good. So now we will move to the next section. Yes, very good. So here, answer these questions about the conversation on page 79 of your course book. Number one, do Ahmed and Khalid want to buy a boat? Mazen says fishing is dangerous. Does he say can happen? So we have three points here. What does Mazen say the boys need? How much do they pay Mazen? So we have about four questions. So I will show you the answers. Yes, so Serene, you will do the first and the second. So we have these answers here. Yes. Can you start, Serene? Yes. Do Ahmed and Khaled want to buy a boat? No, they want to hire one. Very good. Mazen says fishing is dangerous. What does he say can happen? The boat can sink, they can get lost, the motor can stop. Very good. Yes, who's going to do number three and four? I can. Yes, Rubin. What does Mazen say the boys need? Life jackets, a compass, and arts. Yes, very good, Rubin. How much do they pay Mazen? Nothing. He gives them everything free very yes. good so he gave them everything free because he wants to go with them so he, he said that if you take me with you i will give you everything free very good so here we have the last section so here i will show you the answers here and i will delete them okay so look to the first one we have boat sinks and we have swim okay if the boat sinks we will swim. So what about the second one? Who can try? I can. Yes, Siri. I can. can try? Get lost and use compass. So the first part must be in the present symbol and the second part you must add well. If we get lost, we will use a compass. Very good. If we get lost, we will use the compass. So what about the third one? I can. Yes, uh, Rubin. If the motor 
systems, we will row. Very good. So if the motor stops, we will row. Very good. So the first part in the present symbol, which, which is the word stops here, and the second part, we use it well. Yes, what about the fourth one? I can. I can. Yes, Ali, yes, Ali, the fourth one. If you take me, I will give you every uh, thing. Uh, yes, everything free. Yes, thank you very much, Ali. If you take me, I will give you everything free. Yes, thank you very much. Now check your answers on page 79 of your course book. So here we have the answers and all our answers is correct. In the first part, we have all the verbs in the present symbol. Here we have uh, the word sinks, which is the verb in the present symbol. And here we have get is the verb in the present symbol. And here we have stops is the, the verb in the present symbol. And here we have take is the verb in the present symbol. And here we have well, here we have well, and here we have well, and here we have well. And after each one, we have a verb. So here we have row, we have uh, use, we have uh, uh, swim, and here we have get. So all the verbs are in the infinitive. And we have in the second part of all these sentences well, so that means all our sentences is F closes in the first conditional. So here we have about the sentence with F. So we will read it now and we will discuss it together. Expressing conditional situations in the future. Sentences with F. We use F when we are talking about something that may happen at, at a time in the future. So we will use F if we want to talk about something that may happen at a time in the future. These sentences have two clauses. So we are talking about these sentences here that, has two, that have two clauses. Okay. Two linked ideas. Two linked ideas. يعني فكرتين متصلات ببعض. So this is the first idea and this is the second idea. This is the first sentence. هذه الجملة الأولى. This is the second sentence. Okay. If then we have a result. So if something happened, something else will happen. So if so, this is what we mean. So we have if then we have a result. What we mean by result here? An natija. Okay. So we have this example. Look here to this example. If I miss the first bus, I will take the next one. So what we mean by this sentence in Arabic? لو فاتني لو فاتتني رحلة من الباص. Yes. ناخذ رحلة ثانية. Very good. Yes. So if this happen, I will do. So if I miss the first bus, if this happen, so the result will be in the second sentence. I will take the next set one. Very good. Look at the sentences you wrote and complete this row. So we have these sentences. We wrote them together. So we have these sentences. And we have to look here. With if sentences, we use the, can you complete it here? Yes? Present. Present tense. Yes, very good. Yes, okay, yes, we will do it right now. With if sentences, we use the, yes, Ali? Present tense. Yes, very good. So we use the present tense in the F clause and yes, yes, Ali? Win. Win. Yes, very good. Yes, and well plus infinitive. So what do we mean by well plus infinitive? Will and another verb. Yes. What are the infinitives here, Sirin? Um, new sentence. Yes, in the first sentence here. Swim. Yes, in the second sentence. 
Use. Yes. What about you, Ali? What about the third sentence? Where is the verb in the in the infinitive? Hello, Ali. Hello. Yes. Where is the verb in the infinitive here? Present tense. Yes, which one? So this is the present tense here, and this is well. So we have row here is the verb in the infinitive after well. Okay. So what about the fourth one? Here we have the first part in the present symbol, which is here present tense. And the second part we have well plus infinitive. So here give is the verb in the infinitive. Okay, we can also write if sentences with the result to close first. So like the sentence that we read them, that we can use the sentence in the result first. What we mean? Can you change it here, Serene? We will swim if the boat sinks. Yes, we will swim if the boat sinks. Yes, very good. So can you do the second one? We'll use a compass if we get lost. Very good. So this is what we mean, that we can use the, the sentence in the result first. Here we have an example. We will take the next bus if we miss the first one. What difference can you see? So there's no any difference. So the first part, so in, this, in the sentence, if we start with F, so if this happened, the second one will happen. But in the second sentence, that the result comes first. So we will give the result first. Yes, Siri, yes, we will give the result first, then we will give the sentence with F. So now we finished our lesson for today. So did you understand our lesson? Yes. Yes. Yes, Rubin, did you understand our lesson? Ali, uh, Serene? Yes. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. So we finished our lesson for today. And see you next class. Goodbye. See you. Yes, goodbye. Yes, goodbye. Bye. Yes, goodbye. Yes, thank you.